Hello everyone, this is myself from Peru, Travel Guide, Adventure Tour, Salk and Thai, Trekking to Machu Picchu, and we are going to talk about the uh, cheapest way to do it, uh, normal way to do it, cost and distance, okay? Uh, flight from Lima costs $50 uh, without backpacks or suitcase, uh, $50 approximately more for that, and $20 extra for the taxes that's one way okay when you arrive to the airport you go outside of the airport to get a cheaper price on the taxi costs about 10 soles but the guys that you see here i don't understand why they block the way but that's how it works here they look kind of like a gangster sometimes uh, i was uh, kind of like uh, feeling that they bull people there but uh, it's not they are waiting for customers uh, that's how it works here and then take your taxi for 10 soles all the way to your hostel uh, or 14 soles and in your hostel make sure you fit on the on the shower first okay uh, i i don't fit on the shower but uh even though i already pay so i'm gonna stay here but make sure also that you sit down on the bed and the bed shouldn't uh shouldn't bend too much uh, my bed was bending too much, so means that probably I'm gonna have a hard time on, on waking up, or because uh, normally it's uh, bad for your back, and you don't wanna have a back or or pain on the back during your four days trekking. Uh, I woke up at 3.30, take a taxi from your hostel, the main square, to Arcopata. Arcopata will cost you, again, again 10 soles if you don't have accent uh, from Lima, probably. That's uh, what my friends told me. And then if you have an accent, probably they will charge you more, like 14, like it happened to me and uh, 14 soles all the way to our Copata from the main square for the accent. And then uh, when you get here, it uh, costs 15 soles. Uh, that's so, something that you have to wait until the, the minivan is full and it doesn't look like a bus station. It looks more like the avenue and the cars, the minivan just stop on pharmacy, boutiques, uh, stores, houses, just beside them, and you just uh, get there and get in. Two hours and a half approximately uh, until you get to Moyepata, until uh, you get off on Moyepata, register on the office, pay 10 soles if you are Peruvian, 20 soles if you are foreign, and then uh, the taxi from here to Soraypampa will cost you 80 soles approximately. And this lady is uh, trying to get uh, support the cats from Moyepata. She make a happy cats refugee and uh, paying for your breakfast here, you are supporting the cats. So we have four days to do our incredible Salkantai trek to Machu Picchu and somehow she convinced one of our friends and then we democratic decide what to do. So I don't know in this case what you will do, but we ended helping the cats and do a detour for one hour. Uh, and then we are going back to the main square. Make sure on the main square of Moyebata and everywhere here, the doors are 1.65 centimeters, which is um, 1.73 centimeters tall. And I hit two eyes these doors. So look at the measure of the guy when he come outside and look at the measure of the door and he's smaller than me. So make sure that uh, you bring a helmet or <laughs> or calculate good before you get on the doors. They have a step that's going down for for that reason. So make sure you step on the step. Actually, I'm talking about the step. I just step on those uh, holes when the car taxi stop. Uh, make sure that you are not on those days that everything goes bad and wrong for you. But I think Salkantai will clean that from, from my luck away. You know, uh, I mean, uh, 
it is going to change. And from here, we are going to go to Umantai Lake that is four hours. Uh, we are in Sorai Pampa, where the taxi drop us, four hours all the way to uh, Umantai Lake. And of course, I'm going to show you how it look Umantai from a real position. Not like the picture I saw, because the picture I saw, it looked big, huge, it's not that huge. And the rocks that you are seeing are black because ice was on top this rock. So the ice is melting. That's uh, that's uh, what the people is telling me, the locals here is melting, the ice is melting. So please, if you can do something for the environment, uh, try to do it and write me and I will say thank you to you. Uh, definitely, we are aware uh, and trying to do uh, a, a change on our world for glo global warming. And uh, this is Salkantai on the back. This is the Salkantai Peak Glacier. And we are going to sleep here. Actually, we are in uh, Salkantai Pampa, where we are going to pass the night. We walk one or two hours away from, from the Umantai Lake. So after we went out. And uh, definitely when we arrived here, the owner of the land wasn't here and we kind of looked for him for about 45 minutes until we found it and uh, our friends are going to sleep on those shelters for 10 soles approximately. The shelters are located every four hours. There are camps with water, bathroom and shelter. However, the shelters will change the cost depending on how luxury they are. This one cost 10 soles and our friend forgot his sleeping bag. So lucky him that we that this, this trail is very commercial, that there are a lot of commercial uh, places to eat, to sleep and to have bathroom. So he got a cover for like helping for the owner. And uh, I passed the night sleeping here and I always bring a bottle of water empty for for me and then uh, I pee on there so bring your bottle of water because when I get off of the sleeping uh, it was cold and I couldn't know imagine if I go to the bathroom how cold it could be so make sure you bring your bottle of water I don't know how the girls will do it but yeah try to think about it otherwise uh, Otherwise, think about it twice. <laughs> uh, we are here going to Salkantai uh, in Soirokocha, okay? And uh, we, after Soirokocha, we already made the path with our friends. So we cheers here and uh, we have a really good time going up and it was wonderful landscape. Uh, we try to be always concerned about the ice melting and trying to conserve the place, okay? We're talking with our new friends and uh, talking about this uh, experience to see the donkeys, horses bring, bringing bombs, they call it the bombs, horses. However, they bring propane to the cookers so they can make food for the tourists. And that's also something that uh, we will talk later about it, how the things are changing, uh, the culture and stuff. However, we are talking also about the bathrooms. There are many people that want to go to the bathroom on the way and every four hours there is a bathroom with a camp. But the thing is like, look at the toilet paper they give you for one soul every time you use the bathroom. So make sure you bring your toilet paper enough for your three days or four days. I uh, definitely is not gonna be enough for me. How come it's gonna be enough for me? No way. And uh, and then, uh, like I said, here the things are changing. For example, this lady uh, that do the camp, the camping owner, the camping area has all coke, coke uh, soda, Inca Cola, uh, Pepsi, and all those kind of brands here. Water too uh, for tourists, but they used to be agriculture um, 
manage and uh, also uh, cowboys and growing animals but they kind of leave that and become more uh, into the tourist business now like Eduardo here for example he is a, a multi-tier that brings uh, like a cowboy that brings uh, all the, the the staff for tourists carrying the weight with their mules and horses and that's his job now yes and uh, that's something really nice to see it how the things are changing but at the same time you see the, the clothes that they are using also is changing we are going to sleep for example in Samanawasi hostel uh, that also they were part of the uh, the, the local community here that it used to be, like I said, agricultures and farming and things like that. But now it's like 20 soles the, the hostel, not including the, the, the shower, shower, uh, hot shower is 10 soles more. The bathroom, shared bathroom for all the, the rooms, it's, it has uh, about approximately 10. And uh, she had also internet for 10 soles more. And um, and all the, the the snacks that come from outside, like chips, fast food, and things like that. And uh, well, we we things are changing here. And as you can see, it's very commercial now. Uh, I can see that in the future you can pay with visa and and etc. Okay, uh, but uh, I will say uh, the traditional customers, the, the traditional custom are changing too. They, they are not wearing the same clothes. They are not speaking, for example, they used to speak Quechua, a lot of Quechua. It was difficult a long time ago to come here uh, and, and uh, interact with uh, Spanish, but now they speak Spanish very well. and. Uh, they used to speak Spanish, but it was more like Spanish Quechua speakers. Now it's more like they they speak Spanish and and trying to speak even in the future English. Yes, so that that's something interesting that uh, you have to look at on these uh, uh, traditional areas. We are in a it's supposed to be in the middle of nowhere and how the impact of society from outside of the world is changing uh, here the the culture yes anyways um, uh, I, I'm not saying that they will change the culture it's just the relationship that changed the culture okay uh, it seems like it. anyways here also you can see the differences from the Inca Trail that is the Capacñan and uh, what we were actually doing the last two days uh, before. For example, this trail Capacñan means Capac means superior, yes, and Ñan means uh, Camino or top uh, trail, yes, it, and and you can see why. It's, the name of that because look at this trail this trail is designed totally that you can dress when you walk different than the other one that is uh, built by the community uh, uh, just for locals at this uh, uh, time yes the the community trail goes up and down in an angle that your body cannot rest. It's always in an angle you fit. In the Inca trail, you can, that's my opinion, you can analyze that the Inca trail goes up and down in levels that your foot or your feet can rest on the flat floor. Even if they have a, a very uh, difficulties on the trail and they have to go up, they put the stairs where you can uh, put your foot or your feet in a flat rock dress. But before uh, we were in trails that 
the, the rocks were uh, some kind of uh, no even, always in an angle, your feet uh, going up and down mostly, which in the Inca trails goes down, but very soft, very smooth. Goes up, very soft, very smooth, and that's the difference. This is the cherry, actually, the cherry, the strawberries, sorry, strawberries from uh, the trail. They, they grow up uh, native or natural, like uh, wild. And uh, we are gonna have also another view of the Inca Trail in this area. This area has a lot of botanic, has a lot of insects, has a lot of birds that you can see. Uh, and the people is trying to get uh, some fruit from the from the farming areas that are beside. And uh, I'm gonna take a few ones actually for me. And uh, and that's the, the wonder. Oh, another wonder for the trail would be the cliff. So for some people, it's nice to see it. Uh, I don't know what do you think about the cliff, but uh, for some others, would be in panic to be here. So be careful if you bring to do a trekking tour to a, a guy that uh, have a fear about cliff or high altitude and things like that. This is a channel that is dry and I saw many uh, holes on the, on the way. Uh, it seems like they are taking water from the, from the channels. Uh, I don't know if it's good or bad. Maybe an expert can talk about that but that's how they are irrigated um, the agriculture areas. And also we need to know that this is something that uh, the Incas used to do a long time ago, yes? Uh, change the direction of the water in order to irrigate the areas. Uh, waterfalls and uh, channels that come from the mountains are in all the way so filming all will take a lot of time so i just film a little of, of this uh part so we don't make this video so long um and then um uh, we are kind of uh taking this trail, like I said, is very commercial and some of the domes are very luxury. Uh, if you like something like that, uh, well, this is the, the, the internet address where you can contact them. We are finishing in uh, uh, here, William Sitio. William Sito is picking us up for, for actually taking us from this point where the, the road uh, pier and the trail finish and uh, it was uh, probably the Inca trail that keep going on that way and they used that Inca trail to do this uh, road. So uh, we don't want to keep walking on the dirt road so we think that it's better to go to eat uh, trout uh, with avocado, rice, pota potatoes and uh, tomatoes with a stair, which I asked um, where is the address uh, here, and she doesn't know. <laughs> and uh, she asked uh, her friend Maria about the address, and uh, they said in front of Colcamayo, that is the hot spring. And uh, well, the, the, the food is good, 15 solid for the food. Uh, three solids for the coffee. If you are used to it, to the bacteria in South America, especially in Peru, then go ahead. If you don't, then probably you need to do this with a tour agency. And hire a tour agency is good because they do a full package tour with all inclusive, with a good tour guides like me. 
and then uh, uh, you can easily pass a good time in all the trail without being with the stomach edge, diarrhea, and fever and stuff like that. So that will be another recommendation. If you still want to do it by yourself, then take uh, take uh, your uh, antibiotic or pills for your stomach edge uh, or killing bacteria. And of course, uh, bring all what you need in order to don't eat outside or eat in a good restaurant and etc. Uh, from here, uh, actually, from uh, from the hidroelectrica to Santa Teresa, the hot spring was ten soles, and from Santa Teresa to where the trail finish was twenty soles per person, for seat. So if you want to do this private for you uh, in a taxi, you have to pay for all the seats and uh, it will, that will be the price that you have to pay, 14 seats. And then uh, sometimes they, they come and go speak, uh, dropping tourists and they are returning empty. Maybe they just charge you 20 soles because they already pay for the transfer. This is the hydroelectrica way all the way to Machu Picchu town, that is Aguascalientes. You just have to follow the uh, train rails or the train line, but there is a rock, big rock that block the, the train line and that you just have to go around and continue walking. So don't, don't, don't scare. Uh, otherwise, if you speak Spanish, you can talk to the guards that are around in the cabins and they will give you direction. This is very important. If you want to buy a ticket from here to Aguascalientes town, please don't go a, a, away from your spot on the line because what happened to me is I was there and the counter left in front of me. He closed the, 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 the office and told me that a guy is going to come out. But he didn't tell me that when the guy come out, everybody goes around him and they, he starts to sell the tickets in different directions. <laughs> so make sure, I don't know what you are going to think about it, but make sure that you, you 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 are alert uh we are in the machu picchu boutique actually here already in aguascalientes two hours and a half walking to here 30 minutes by train from hidroelectrica all the way here this is a telephone number for uh, evelyn evelyn is uh, the owner here and she is a very attended girl and i'm gonna check uh, her rooms at the moment uh, 70 soles uh, approximately for the room everything looks nice so far uh, but I have to check like I said before I want to check the bathroom the shower I'm gonna check the hot water make sure that you wait for five minutes the hot water it's open and running because I've been many times in Aguascalientes and the shower sometimes seems like it they doesn't have a hot water but it takes a little while not like in the first countries that you open it and and the hot water run uh, just in one minute and uh, I fit that's something good. I fit here. That's very important for me. And uh, I'm going to leave the hot water running uh, while I am unpacking my stuff. And then I'm going to try to see it. We did have hot water. And now uh, I am meeting my friend in Baipucha restaurant, actually. My friend is a tour guy from Machu Picchu, which uh, here is the, na the telephone number. Uh, we are going to do Machu Picchu tomorrow and uh, he is looking at the boobies. No, I'm joking. He's looking at the name, the name of the restaurant. Uh, 
that is in front of the local market actually it's just just right there in front and uh well we we pass a good time be, uh, last night and now it's the morning we are gonna go to machu picchu breakfast for six soles with a uh, wilbur here in the main square one corner that goes to the mercado the local market okay and uh, if you want to make it cheaper you can eat here if you want to spend a little bit more like we did yesterday with my friend uh well you, you just go behind me and there is a plenty of restaurants uh you can have breakfast or or, or good meal like yesterday that like you see this is the line to get the bus to go to Machu Picchu. The bus costs $10 and you have to buy your tickets before and check check in. Uh, like uh, there is a guys that uh, check your ticket before you get into the bus and uh, make sure you go with time in advance because as, as you can see, the line is very big. And uh, from here is about 20 minutes going up by car and 20 minutes going down. But the way that we you can do it also is hiking all the way up uh, at uh, about two hours and a half to go up and down another two hours and a half probably. This is Machu Picchu and I hope that's the end of this video. I hope you like it. Uh, I'm going to make more videos for you uh, about Machu Picchu and then Huayna Picchu on the next episode. If you like it, give a like, subscribe and share it. And don't forget your donation if you want to continue seeing those videos. Bye bye.